remove the lid. And let's see. Yeah, it seems to be nice and relaxed now. So what I do next is I place the pin inside the thorax of the butterfly. I do this first because it's more difficult later when the butterfly is dry. You have a tendency to break the wings. And I use a number one pin, but before I do that, see how these wings, they're nice and easy to move now. Just wanted to point that out. The other thing is if I pinch the thorax just, just ever so slightly, it causes those wings to pull apart a little bit. So what I'll do, I'll take my number, Number one pin, there we go. I just push it on in there. Okay, and I push it on up to the upper third of the pin. Now I'm ready to. handle it a little more. Now if my wings were my wings are plenty relaxed, but if they were more stiff, then I would slowly work them back and forth until I got them away, you know, nice and relaxed. You hear some popping and some snapping, that's perfectly okay. And then I place it on my board. Okay, now I'm ready to start mounting my butterfly. Now I, what I do is I take the 3x5 cards and I cut them into strips. And I use glass head pins because <coughs> they're easy to handle. And I use spade tip forceps. these things out of the way so that I can have my pins here where I need them. Now this is where it gets tricky. A lot of people will stick the, the pins right through the wing. Uh, I don't like to do that because it puts holes in the wings. So what I do, it's a little more difficult, but I just use the spade tip forceps to pull that wing up closer to the position I want. There we go. Now she's not going to stay there unless I put another pin in to secure it. So it'll get kind of tricky. What I'll do is I'll put my finger down and hold it. And then I put this in place to hold my, my wing where I want it. I got it right where I want it. <clears throat> now this bottom portion of the butterfly is straight. Let's see if I can get it so that you can pull that straight line. Now I know those wings are in the right position. I can work on the bottom wings. And I do it the same way. I use my spade tip forceps. 
pull it up. It takes time. You gotta be patient. If you go too quick, you're gonna damage the wings. And there we go. Now I'm tightening my strips. I'm gonna add a third strip. There we go. Now I have that left side exactly how I want it. Now I'm going to work on the right bottom wing. And there you have it. I make sure that my pin is all pinned through the thorax is still in the right position. A lot of times that'll come out of place. So we're still good there. And there you have it. That butterfly is ready to go, and I'll wait at least five days. Some people will wait a lot longer than that, a couple weeks. Um, but I'll wait at least five days, and then I start to get impatient, and I want to pin it, put it in my collection. 